No, oh, what's good, guys? This is a, a video I've been wanting to do for the longest time. So this is The Sims. It was actually this is the console version of the game, and uh, I haven't played this game or passed it since I was like maybe nine. So I don't really want to care remember exactly. Uh, so the I don't know what really like I don't know what really dra you know uh, attracted me for this game, right? As you can see, I'm just typing my name here, and uh, yeah, like it just um it just appealed to me. I don't know why. My mother used to play it though, but um, I never really paid attention to when she played it because there was a computer in the house, but it wasn't ours to mess with. It was my stepfather, and my stepfather was. Eh. I don't want to say he was abusive, but you know, I wasn't. Look, look at me, handsome, handsome, big fat boy. Look at that. Look at that body. Look at that six pack buff mode. Just like that's how I look in real life a six pack with a big buff body. Ew, fat body. <laughs> So, yeah, so anyways, I just heard the noises in the background, and I think that's what I loved about this game, is that the noises in the background of the game and the music, the music is just amazing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to do a whole playthrough of it, and it'll just, uh, it's, you know, if you want to relax and check this, you know, just something to relax to, hear me yapper about it. Yeah, this is for you. I'll tell some, I got a pretty funny story about this game. Oh, they don't have my haircut. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that with some cheat codes. For those of you who don't know, there games back in the day, there was a way to do cheat codes. And right here, you press L1, R2, and L2 together. You press the top buttons together. I don't know what the hell Midas means, but I do know that the Midas unlocks like cosmetic stuff. And of course, every time you turn off the game, you gotta go ahead and retype in all the cheat codes and stuff like that. But you know, I only wanted it just to get my hair cut in there, so you'll see that. But yeah, I got some funny stories about this game that uh, that just like <laughs> my friends in middle school. There's a reason why uh, there's a name in this game that just I love the name. You'll see it soon enough. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's find that. See how we're getting different stuff now because of that. So the real way you unlock certain things in this game is just playing the get a life mode, which is the main. Look at that beautiful hair. It's actually I don't like it because of the green tips. I don't like color in my hair. So it's kind of stupid. But I mean, regular little color. Like if you spray it, I can I can fuck with that. But you know, oh, there's that burglar. What you doing in my house, son? Yeah, that's right. I'm menacing. Better back up from my cave. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, you you unlock stuff during the get a life phase. The get a life is just basically story mode. So, and there is another mode called play the Sims, which is basically like free for all. You know, you just you build a house and just live life. And I used to use the cheat code Sims to just live life, and <laughs> I would build the biggest house have my future wife in fact what i used to do and i may do this for the channel because i really enjoy this game and i see people who you know really enjoy it as well i might do a full playthrough with no commentary to just have a state of relaxation like have the game playing in the background <laughs> but i'm gonna play it like i used to play it when i was a kid and that was a very perverted weird way <laughs> so here it comes. Here we go. Hey, yeah, welcome to the Sims. Congratulations, you created your first sim. Spend a couple minutes getting to know them and the surroundings. Move the cursor. You know, this is basically the tutorial. Simple shit, right? Oh, there I am. Hey! Oh yeah, we're starting off rich, baby. What? What am I doing here? Whose mansion is this? Oh, uh, the moment of truth. The reason why. Look at it. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, there is. There's no nudity, obviously. There's no sex. You don't see it, but you know it's implied. Wow, Roxy, what are you doing here? Okay, so a fun story about that name. That is my most favorite female name ever. 
Like that name just, I don't know what it was. As a kid, I just, uh, look at that. She's going to get in the bathtub for me. We're going to make soup. So, yeah, I don't understand. Like the name, it just, it was sexy to me. And me as a kid, what I thought, what was sexy was, well, naked woman. <laughs> so, I don't know what it was. It just appealed to me. It appealed to me so much that I wanted every girlfriend to be named, you know what I mean? Like Roxy, every RPG game or every uh, every video game that I played where there was a woman, I would put the name Roxy. And here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. The name Roxy was way before I met a middle school crush. And I'll tell that story as we're playing through here. Now we're going to get in here. Hey, you want to come play in the hot tub? Well, I'm just in here, dummy. Come on, stop daydreaming. Wake up, wake up. Oh, God, it's a dream. Oh, you guys can't see this. We're making soup. Hot, bubbly. <laughs> Think about that. That's gross. So, so we start off at Mom's house. Now, there's going to be a trigger warning here. Mom is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny from mom. So what we got to do here is we have to get enough money from mom to move out of the house. And this is my stepmom, clearly. Mox, wake up. What are you doing here? Daydreaming all day long. Press start button to see your goals. So you can move the walls. Zoom in and out. Look at that. See, that's not my mom. That's clearly my stepmom. My dad abandoned us. Oh, great. Now how are we supposed to spend most time around here? I'm missing my soap operas. My dirty soap operas. Yeah, your mom watching them nasty ass Lifetime soap operas. Those things are disgusting. Don't watch those. It's horrible. It's worse than the NBC one. So what you got to do here is this is just another. It's pretty much tutorial. So you're gonna take this book and we're gonna read how to fix that. If we were to try to fix the TV without a mechanical skill, you will electrocute yourself. All you really need is one point, but. Some jobs you're gonna get. This bitch making a mess in the house. Can you believe that shit? You can take control of her too. She refuses to clean. Look at that. I'm tired of cleaning up after Mox. Why don't you do it anymore? I want a maid. Yeah, I'm glad you're not a maid. Cause at least some maids look attractive. You butt ugly. How are you ever going to live on your own? Yeah, she just talks shit the whole time. You can't get her to do anything. So, I was pretty dark when I played this game actually. What I ended up doing was I made a house outside and I just put her in there. <laughs> I say shit you not. I put her in there with a refrigerator. And that's the thing too. So in this game, congratulations. Ooh, I see now I got a point to make my own food so she can shut up. So now I'm gonna fix her TV. See what happens? I got electrocuted. <laughs> you know, that's what you get for trying to repair the electronics with all mechanical. Shut up. I got one mechanical skill. So yeah, if you want to improve, you gotta keep it real. But I think it's because the game took a little too long to register that point, so that's why it happened. But even if you have one point of skill. That's sure taking a long time, I know mechanical shut up, bitch. Hey God. Why no wonder dad left you. But why did he leave me with you? And why did you keep me? Oh god, I'm her slave. I'm her slave. Uh I just had a dirty thought and I I'm gonna try something. So please, congratulations, you fixed it. See there's there it is. That thing when you buy it. It's pretty much a mirror where you could um, you could change your appearance. So we got to talk to mom. And all that. Okay, I got a dirty. I've never done this before as a kid. Never done this before. As perverted as I was as a kid, I've never done this. So I'm gonna try it. This is my step mom, not my real mom. Clearly, it's not my real mom. So, so yeah. Okay. We need to borrow money from her. We actually need to be her friend, like best friend. But I, I'm, gonna I'm gonna try something. Please don't judge me. It's just experimental because I've heard another YouTuber shouts out to Born Losers Gaming because I love watching their Sims videos because uh, Ian and his girlfriend Casey, they're the most funniest people. Link in the description, I'll put it in there. They're the most funniest people when it comes to this game. But they asked something and it was awkward. Ian asked his girl, can you, like, marry your mom? And she's like, ew. Ew. And I was like, can you? So I'm going to test out. Can I fuck with my step? <laughs> They're all good. Please don't leave. It's I, it's just experiment. This isn't who I am. Well, what do you care? <laughs> so anyways, 
uh yeah so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do things in here because as a kid i did get past this level but i never got past the second level there's a total of like eight levels i think maybe ten i don't remember the reason why i know this is because i watch other youtubers play this because you know it's interesting and i like it and i just love the sound effects of the game and it was really hard to find raw footage of the game being played on youtube so that's why i want to make my own raw footage of the game so be sure to look out for that if you don't want to hear my commentary i will put oh congratulations mox made dinner for the first time the first food i ever made by myself was a soup <laughs> a campbell soup without the can opener I had to use a knife and hit it with a fucking rock just to get it in there. I probably had some metal shavings in there that probably scratched me up. So yeah, you gotta just get these points up. And like I said, our goal is to bar get $800 from mom. So I'm gonna go in here and do another cheat code here. This is called Fish Eye. I think it's spelled this way. Uh, fish Eye. Oh, I didn't spell it right. I'm a fucking... <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so this cheat code, this is a really fun cheat code. I love it, but it's not very cool. Well, I mean, it is cool, but it's not. No, what the fuck? No, I'm an idiot. It, it's it's old controllers, you know. So it's called Fish Eye. Now, what is Fish Eye? Fish Eye is it's not a Fish Eye camera, if you guys ever heard of that, or Fish Eye lens. So what Fish Eye does is you get like a first person mode in the game. It's not great, because I know The Sims 4 does it, and The Sims 4 kind of has a, a weird control of it. But in this game, you can't really control it. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I like the immersion, just to, you know, it's fun. See? You can't really turn. They, It's just whatever The Sim sees, that's what they see. Oh, yeah. It's fun, though. Are you okay? You've been on your feet all day. It must be aching. Maybe you should calm down and take a nap. Blah, 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 bitch. I can't take a nap in this house. I can't do anything in this house. We sleep. We can't even sleep in the same bed. Not that I want to. Well, no. Now we're gonna take a bath. And um, you know what I like about this? I hated about this game too is the fact that you couldn't even take a nap with the music playing. It's really stupid that you can't. There's some people that can do that. Who takes a bath? Well, actually, I want to take a bath, but it's a waste of water. You know? And now that woman, see see that? She wanted to put food on the table, but she couldn't do it because I left a plate there. I'm going to have her turn off these quick. So she made food. Damn, I got out of that bath quickly. This is a good way to talk or to make friends is when we're eating together. See that trash on the floor? Because of that trash on the floor, she refuses to sit down. It's kind of like it's in the way, which is dumb to be honest, but you know. So while we're doing this, let me tell you guys a story. So the name Roxy, I don't know why I was attracted to it. I just am. It, that's just how it is. Even to this day, I'm still attracted to it. That red symbol means I got to take a piss <laughs> or take a dump. <laughs> I don't know why Roxy was just, it was just an attractive name to me. Very attractive name to me. Flush? Nobody flushed the fucking toy. No! I shit myself! <laughs> Look at the way he cries. Oh, that sucks. Now I have to take another bath. Look at the mess you made! What a bitch. I go, you know what? I'm having problems in life. I can't do it. You, I'm gonna clean it. Oh, the bladder's empty, but I gotta take a shower and bath again. Even though I just got. Look at this bitch! She's making more of a mess. Oh, God, I hate that woman. Well, anyways. And look at what she does. She turns the radio back on. She's just a mess of a person. She's just a fucking mess. She makes your life so difficult in the game, which is good because it's encouraging you to get the fuck out of there. Well, let me mop up my diarrhea. <laughs> okay, back to the story. Roxy. I don't know why the name is attracted to me, so there it is. So this game came out in 2000 or some shit like that. 2001, I think. It was a good time for gaming, to be honest. In my opinion, it was. And again? Oh, I didn't finish the bath. Whatever. Yeah, see, there's a sky. It's fucking blue. There is no nighttime. It's forever blue. We're in limbo. So in middle school, right? In middle school, I had a, I had a friend by the name of Ryder. And I knew this dude. If, yeah, I have to sleep on the couch. My mom refuses to let me sleep in the same bed with her for reasons. Damn you, stepmom. 
But watch, you're gonna miss me, bitch. After I do what I'm gonna do. So, I, in middle school, I got out of a certain class that was meant for stupid kids. I know that sounds fucked up, but let's be real. I was a special ed student, so. I mean, you'd be a special ed student too when everybody says, everybody doesn't believe that you're the dragon. <laughs> so, anyways, I got out of a class and I met my friend Ryder. Ryder was technically, I met Ryder. Actually, I met Ryder when I went to summer school for the fourth grade. And it, it, we just met because, you know, he was, uh, we were playing handball and, you know, he was a worthy opponent of mine. And, you know, we just made friends after that. But we went to different schools in the same city, but we went to different schools. And after middle, after summer school, I thought I'd never see him again. Then I started the fifth grade. Never saw him. Never met him. But then I went to the sixth grade. And that's where I met him again when I got out of the special ed classes. Because I had like a really high score on some tests that I did. And Ryder was... Ryder was the homie, you know? There was other homies before him. And I'll talk about them next time. Hopefully I... So, Ryder... Ryder uh, was in a classroom next door to me. And so, when he went next door to that classroom, he's all like, Hey, that, that girl over there is fucking hot, bro. And I, you know, you know, boys, you know. I mean, I'll move shit around while I'm telling the story. So, anyways, so he's like, oh, this girl's fucking hot. And that, you know, and I'm all like, oh, yeah, she is hot. He's like, bro, you got a class with her and her friend. Now, Roxy was, um, she was a Mexican chick, you know. I don't know her last name, but they called her Roxy. Her real name was Roxanne, obviously, but Roxy was short for that. And, and, you know, she was the prettiest one to me. Like, the prettiest one to me. But her homegirl next to her, a little taller, a little taller than you. She was like 5'7". Real skinny, light skin, and she was light skin too. Well, light skin, brownish skin type of tan color. They were Mexican, obviously. Cause it, yeah. And her friend had curly hair. I hated curly hair. I fucking hate it. Like, I don't like curly hair on some women. Some women look good with it. But, I mean... It doesn't mean that I wouldn't, like, if I went, like, I'd go on a date with a girl with curly hair. It doesn't attract me, but, you know, to each his own, you know? So, uh, and he's like, bro, you got a class with her. I was like, oh, shit, I do, you know? So, I, we step into class. This is my first time stepping into the class because it's the second semester. And, uh, yeah. So, we're over here. Good God, Mom, that's a very, that's a very skin-tight pajamas. What are you doing here? You disgust me, stepmom. Oh, look at the police. What a pig stall. The mess is ruining my mood. Her face is ruining my mood. Woman. Here's the fucking bathroom. She's fucking weird. I'm not cleaning this shit up. I really am not. I'm not cleaning up this house. I'll clean up my mess, but I ain't cleaning up your mess. Anywho, gotta stick it where it is. Bitch. So. So, okay, Roxy. And the way I found out her name was Roxy. She was all cute with it, too. I wish you guys could see me, but... Uh, so I'm sitting in class, and the, and the new teacher, who looked like Caesar Milan, the, the dog whisperer, this dude comes out and says, Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Caesar Milan, I guess. I don't remember his name. But he's yeah, like, So why don't we go around and uh, introduce ourselves? There was about nine students in there. I don't know all their names. I only know two. Well, actually, I don't know three, but I can't remember his name exactly. Watching cartoons. Hell, yeah. Uh... <laughs> in the first one in the front row and these desks were two big long desks together so there was three people that sat in front three people in the middle three people in the back i was in the middle and she turns around and she goes hi everybody my name's roxy like she said it like that roxy and she had piercings and she had glitter on her face that day too it was very pretty her hair was in a ponytail well one of those ponytails where it's like messy you know where they get the, the, the cancho, whatever they call it, for the hair. And then next to her was her homegirl, Jennifer, the curly head. You know who she looked like? She looked like Brittany Venti. You know who Brittany Venti is? Oh, she's a beautiful woman. But I don't know if Brittany Venti's cute. But they looked exactly alike, except she was, Jennifer was taller. And she had a more, you know, you know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. And yeah, so that was my, Roxy was my middle school crush. And over the years, nothing, over the months, I should say, because that was second semester, we had like, what, three, four months of school left. Okay, I gotta get my phone up and we gotta talk to mom. So, this, 
a hug. Okay, yeah. Here's the moment of truth. Moment of truth right here. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Hey, stepmom. Oh, yes. Yes, stepmom. Look, and I need money. I need to move out of this place, man. I love you, lady, but, man. Ever since dad moved in here. God, what the fuck am I doing? So, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and try. Anyways, I'll continue the story. So, yeah. So, what happened was one day, okay, she gave me 200 bucks, 100 bucks. You're, oh, my God. Can we do it? No. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see that? Did you see? This is my stepmom. This is not a real. Okay, okay for, let's lead into it. Lead into it. That was 100%. Guess to borrow money again. 100 bucks. 98. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, she didn't want to give me money. Why did it look like I wanted to kiss her? I'm not in the mood to lend you any money. Okay, no, I'm not going to do it. Fuck it. I'm not going to do it. So, okay, back to the store. One day. You can't find a job, man. Move on. Don't think you're quite ready yet. So you can't leave until you get the 800 bucks from her. Actually, I did a playthrough before it. So, in case anybody asked. Or actually, no. I'll talk about that later. But as soon as I move out, I'll talk about it later. Anywho. So one day me and Ryder were uh, we were at lunch and we were playing uh, we're playing handball. And in case you guys don't know what handball is, well, there's kind of two different variants of it. There's where you play with a little rubber ball that's blue or tennis ball doesn't matter. You hit it against the wall and you just hit it with the palm of your hand. That's handball. But there was another version of handball we played where you use a big red ball. Look at my mom just checking out my gorgeous ass. Look at the good God, I'm thick. So. Stepmom over there, you weirdo. Fuck it. Borrow money again, see what she says. Just look at this place, it's a pig sty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, give me money. Okay, she gave you money. Alright. $300 to go. Come on, mama. I need more money. Thank you. You could actually sell her stuff. You could sell her stuff, but. No! No! <laughs> no money for you. I'm not in the mood to lend you money. So yeah, you got to get her in a good mood before you do anything. So we're playing handball, right? And, uh... Why did I do that? So we're playing handball and we're fucking... Having a good time. And now we run... To, uh... We go ahead and run... Let's see, we just got to go through the goals. And we're running back to class, right? We're running, we're booking it. And... Side story here. There was a friend... He wasn't, he's not my friend anymore because we had a falling out. And, you know, till this day, if I saw him again, I wouldn't really be friends with him. I mean, I'd be respectful, say, hey, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Well, gotta go. Uh, we had this friend. Well, he was my friend. He wasn't Ryder's friend. He, uh, his name was Caesar. Funny enough, his name was Caesar. I don't know his last name. I don't remember anybody's last name. The only person I remember is my old friend. But I won't say his last name for obvious reasons. And... So Caesar was this fat Mexican kid. I'm Mexican too, so don't give me that bullshit. We, and, uh, he was the only one I really talked Spanish to. He's a real bicep. You know? And one day he decides to... And this is how he talked. I shit you not. He comes up to me and goes, Hey man, wanna, wanna see me do something funny? I'm gonna go touch your pussy. Now, disclaimer here. I always thought the word pussy meant ass. Because this is... Oh, God. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Almost 800 bucks here. You got enough money to move out? Yes. I can't believe... Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Let me save it just in case. Just in case something weird happens. Let me save it. These games tend to fuck you. If you they troll you, you know? Oh, God. God. Stepmom, why don't you get a job? Oh, what? Oh my god, you can do it! What? Uh, you can do it! No! Why was it a kiss like that, though? Why was it a kiss like that? That was the most weirdest kiss ever. What the fuck? Borrow money from Step. Come on, mama. Oh my god! <laughs> why? What is that? Stepmom, what? What are you doing? Ugh. Oh, he's hungry. Uh, see, that was a more feminine kiss. Why did I give her the feminine? Oh my gosh, that's fucking weird. 
It's okay. So Caesar runs up behind this girl, smacks her in the butt, and books it. Like he books it. Sim City Times. You know, no, no. You want to be a military guy. The military guy makes the most money. So, uh, and yeah, he goes up to her. He talks like this. But grab her pussy. Now, I never did it. Okay, we never. I never did any of that stuff. My mom taught me better than that. But it's just I thought the word pussy meant ass. That's what I really thought. I, I played real cool pretending that I didn't know what, what shit was. Okay. So he grabs his girl's ass and he books it. We all book it. But I didn't run just yet because I wanted to see what would happen. And he touched the ass of this big fat girl. She was pretty. You know, she was cute. But she turned around with the maddest face. And fuck it. Oh, look, we're finally moving out. Fuck yeah. And her and she attacked the first person she saw, which was another girl. But then that's when she... Not so fast. Take out the, the house. What? 13... What? The last time I played this when I had a test run, I didn't have to give her money anyway. She actually gave me $17. Maybe because my, maybe I'm a bad kisser. <laughs> well, I'm leaving, stepmom. Now I know why dad left. Brush your teeth, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but I had to. So I'll start the next episode after this. But anywho, yeah. The, the, I'll finish the story. And so we book it, right? We book it. Caesar gets caught because he goes to a different classroom. He was a special ed kid, actually, to be honest. So we book it, right? Me and Ryder are running to our class. He runs the opposite. To give you a more distinguished, he ran, Caesar ran west. Me and Ryder ran south. So we're heading towards their class, and we're and we're just laughing because that that girl that he grabbed her butt, he she went on a rampage, my guy. Like she she was on a rampage, fucking yelling at people, and but she found out it was Caesar. So like it happened so fast, you had to be there, and she chased them. Me and Ryder are running, and we're pushing each other while we're running. And you know, keep in mind, we're like fucking twelve years old at this point, and we're just. And he's pushing me. And here's the funny part. <laughs> the funny part is we're booking it. And I push him. His classroom was right next door to mine. Like literally two doors. One door next to each other. He pushes me. In the most. And I fall. Now. In slow motion. Imagine somebody falling. With their hands. And the side of their face. Like if they were against a window. Right. I fell like that, and I landed in Jennifer's ass. I shit you not, because she's so tall, and I was shorter than her. I face first into her ass, and, and she snapped, and she goes, You fucking asshole! I, and I freaked out and ran inside. And, uh, and Ryder was on the floor dying. like He was laughing his ass off. It was his fault. It was his fault. It was his fault I fell into that woman's ass. And she was wearing booty shorts that day. She had like this whole outfit. She looked like a fucking uh, basketball cheerleader. But they actually, she was very athletic now that I think about it. Because she always wore athletic clothing. You know, you know, like those basketball booty shorts and shit like that too. And I'm sitting and she was there with Roxy. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to get in trouble, dude. I'm going to get in trouble. And I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like, my mom's going to find out. My mom's going to beat my ass and hit me with a belt. But nothing happened. She walked in. She looked mad. She looked at me. And, just mad. <laughs> and, and Roxy, too, they looked at me in disgust. And the whole time in class, they didn't tell on me. And even after class, they didn't beat me up. And then Ryder the whole time was just laughing at me. Ryder fucking just kept laughing and laughing and laughing. And the next day, come to find out, Oh my god, okay, so, 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 so it was the end of the school year, right? It was the end of the school year, and I had to, I had to, you know, it was the end of the school year. Turns out I failed all my classes. Failed them all. My mom didn't want me to go back to that school. She wanted to go put me to another school, which was in my current hometown. I went to a different school from a different city, because my mom didn't want me to be around the gang violence I was out there. But because I screwed up, I had no choice. So she sent me to bad schools. But, um... My friend Ryder called me that day, and it was a sad moment for me because I had to. I would begged and plead. I begged and plead to stay into that school, but you know my mom's like, "You fucked up. 
you fucked up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you get held back. You're gonna graduate high school and that's final, you know? For graduate school, whatever. So Ryder calls me that day. He calls me like two, three days after. Oh no, 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 a, a week, sorry. A week after the school year ended. And he's like, bro, you got to come back next year. You got to. I'm all like, I can't, man. I am I fucked up. I fucked up. I, didn't, I failed every class. I didn't go. I just didn't do my work. I showed up every day, but I didn't do my work. And I did ditch PE. But, uh, yeah, so he's like, he's like, bro, you're going to come back. And this is what's going to happen, bro. When you come back, I guarantee you, and I will make sure that you date. Roxy or Jennifer. I was like, what? What are you talking about? And he's like, bro, you're not going to believe this. So at the end of the school year, I he's like, I should have told you a long time ago, but I forgot. He's like, like an asshole. I forgot. He's like, okay, I was on the bus, right? And he sat way in the back of the bus. And he said that Jennifer and Roxanne, they sat in front of him from the, in the back of the bus. And they were, and they turned around and started talking to him. And I guess, uh, Roxy asks, he's like, hey, where's your friend uh, Mox at? And he's all like, oh, uh, he gets a ride home. So he's like, is he coming back next year? I go, and he, and this is before Ryder found out. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Why? I was like, he's like, he, they, they're like, oh, he's fucking weird. <laughs> and Ryder's like, no, he, he's the only reason why he acted like that is because he, you know, he, he likes you. He likes you, Roxy. He, he likes you too, Jennifer. Like, he threw me under the bus. He literally threw me under the bus. And this fucker. And, and Roxy admitted. Admitted to him that, oh, I thought he was cute. Because he looks so shy and he looks so awkward. You know, he because I was a shy kid. Right? Around women, I was always shy. And he's just. And Jennifer's all like, I go, I don't like him because he fell on me. And, and Ryder admitted that day that it was an accident. And that's and her dumbass was like, oh yeah. And I was like, no wonder they didn't beat me up after class. Ryder told them that it was his fault that he pushed her onto him. And the and he said this on the phone. He said that I, the reason why I pushed Mox on onto you is because he thought all oh, you were cute. That's why I pushed him. I, so it's my fault that his face and hands landed on your ass while you were standing. So. So Ryder said that, bro, they, they like you. I'm, I'll make sure you date one of them. Hell, we could probably date both of them. And I'm all like, yeah, I'm right, dude. How, I'm not that attractive. I mean, yes, I have luscious hair. <laughs> and it was the most disappointing moment of my life. I was just like, no. Because there was another hot girl. I gotta, I love I love talking about middle school. I'm going to talk about that hot girl next, next video. <laughs> but yeah. Roxy was the one that got away, but she wouldn't date me because she was like a popular chick almost. You know, you know the clicks. You can just tell hot girl hangs out with other people that are attractive, while me fucking mohawked out. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was one of those love stories where the the ugly guy gets with the popular chick or the other way around. I don't know. But yeah, that's the story for now. That's what I don't know what it is with that name, Roxy. I love it. It lingers in the back of my mind <laughs> every day. To be honest, I miss fucking middle school so bad. This, this is why this series is important to me right now. This Sim series, because it's just it takes me back to it takes me back to a time where I was happier before life got worse after. So, so I hope you enjoyed that story. I, I'm sorry. If you're weirdly offended or disgusted, if you don't want to check this out, that's okay. I'm, I'm doing this for me because I'm going to come back and watch this and I'm going to send it to my friends. Because, yeah, this is just for me. So, anyways, I uh, hope you like the story. I don't know when I'm going to upload this because I got some... I got, I'm in the process of moving right now. At the moment, I recorded this on February 3rd. So, yeah. Much love, guys. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy this series of me. hope you stick around with me because I've never passed this game. I was too stupid to read and everything to even bother trying to pass the game. And this would just be a wonderful experience for me. Even though I watch Born Losers Gaming play it, I don't finish their games. I usually put them on in the background when I'm editing because I enjoy the way they talk and play. 
So, link in the description for them. And, uh, yeah, be sure to look out for the raw footage of the game if you like the sound effects and stuff like that. So, take care, everybody. I appreciate you all. Much love.